Hey everyone, Ksenia Pros here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about fashion blogger and influencer photo shoots. I couldn't stay home anymore, so today we're filming outside. So we're gonna talk about everything from scheduling and logistics to location scouting, to posing flow, to lighting and editing as well. As some of you might know, I do a lot of photo shoots for influencers, uh, fashion and style bloggers here in the DC area. I'm an official photographer for Chicama Style, Jador Fashion, Pre Du Pre, and some of the other major names here in the area. And I've been doing it for over five years now, so I wanted to share some of the insights that I've gained from my experience uh, shooting with fashion bloggers. If you're just starting out and you're looking for photography clients, a great way to start is to reach out to local influencers in your area and offer them some kind of collaboration. So this is the way I started and it helped me develop and grow my photography business. And once you started working with someone in your local community who has a little bit of influence, the word spreads so quickly. So for example, for me, I started working with one blogger and then in a couple of weeks, already a few more reached out to me asking for me if I wanted to shoot with them. And it's up to you if you want to start doing photo shoots for free just to gain experience and grow your portfolio or if you want to charge small fee to begin with and then as you grow for new clients you would raise your pricing and it's a consistent business because we have shoots scheduled every couple of weeks and one of my clients will actually shoot every week because she has so much content to produce So let's talk about the logistics of the photo shoot because a lot of people have been asking me how I schedule my shoots, how I plan, how I pick the location and all of that. So when you start working with a new client, you have to determine how much content they need weekly or monthly. So for example, if you want to post three professional pictures a week, which means you have to shoot every two weeks and shoot six outfits in one shoot. Making a batch production photo shoot in one day makes so much sense because you're already investing time in getting to the location. Um, they're investing their time getting ready, getting their hair and makeup done, packing everything, driving, shooting, coming back home, unpacking. It's actually a lot of work that comes into the production. So I figured that it made more sense to shoot more in one day rather than spread it out into multiple days. So basically, what do you want to do? Plan to shoot four to six different outfits, different looks, however you want to call it, um, in a day. So I determine an outfit, it's either change of clothes or change of setting or setup. For example, if it's like a lifestyle blogger, um, they might not necessarily want to change their clothes as much, so it's not going to be more complicated uh, outfit changes, but more of an um, environment or things they are doing. So, um, for example, if it's a fashion blogger, we would do the outfit changes, so it count how many different looks they wore. Um, and it will determine the time that we spend for the shoot and the time I will spend editing the pictures. So, for example, I give out between four to eight pictures per outfit. So from the experience doing the shoots on location with bloggers, I figured that we spend on average 30 minutes per outfit, which includes the time changing, getting to the place from the car, because sometimes you have to walk, they changing in the car or somewhere in the bathroom. Um, and then we do the shoot and come back. So my goal is to spend no more 30 minutes per outfit doing all of this. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes it's a little bit less, depending on the location as well, because sometimes we have to park a little bit farther away from the actual spot that we're taking pictures at. Sometimes changing takes time, so things don't work sometimes, like the zipper gets stuck, something gets broken, we have to fix it, so that takes extra time. And sometimes things go faster, so if we park like really close on the side of the street, we just get out of the car, take pictures, come back, change, and that goes a little bit quicker. So on average, the actual photo shoot per outfit takes no more than 15 minutes. If I get really excited, we will take like a little bit more time, but generally speaking, it's just very straightforward, bam, bam, bang, and we're done. Because I already know what we are looking for. When I start working with new people, I have to figure out what kind of look they're going for, so it takes a little bit extra because I'm trying to get extra shots for them. And then from their selections, I kind of learn what kind of things they like, and I try to look out for those in the next photo shoot. So I decided to split this video into multiple episodes. Thank you everyone for watching. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. See you in the next one.